guys, Science Bros here. Today we're gonna blast off with this seven foot potato cannon. More like nine foot with this boom catcher. It was so loud that we had to make a custom silencer so we didn't freak out the neighbors. Our potato cannon is powered by combustion. First, we add fuel to the chamber. Then, we cap the chamber. Then, all we need is a spark. Then, kablooey! Let's load it up. Ah, uh, I think it's going to go through the foam board, the wood. Uh, I think it's going to go through the foam board and the mannequin. Let's see what we can shoot this thing through. First up, foam board. Three, two, one! After doing some calculations, we figured out that the potato flies 153 miles an hour. Faster than a cheetah, faster than a sailfish, but not quite as fast as a peregrine falcon. Hey. Oh my god. Oh, there's a hole here. Let's check the back. It broke the back stuff. Yay. It ripped it. We proved two of my hypotheses correct in one shot. It went through the foam board and the wood. Now we're gonna try and shoot to this TV plexiglass. Three, two, one, fire! Our last shot missed the target pretty badly. It went all the way over the fence, right into the van, in this completely empty parking. How did it just, like... It's been a day since the incident back home, so we came out to our cousin's farm to shoot some more potatoes. Hopefully we can't break any windows out here. Let me introduce you to the Science Cousins. Let's see if we can shoot it through this TV screen. Ready, aim, fire! Are you kidding me? What? It was hard to perfect our aim from the ground. It would be perfect if we could hold the cannon, but that's not safe for kids to do. If only there was an older version of ourselves. Hmm. Ten years later. We successfully shot the potato cannon through a foam board, wood, and glass, but not the TV or the mannequin. Science Rose, out. Ooh. Just say action! It's gonna hit you in the face. Yeah, I'm fixing my hair. With the what the f out? <laughs> Great fire! Oh. Okay. 